Hey guys, and welcome to this episode of Gear Bag from Gearist TV. On today's episode, we're going to hopefully help you get out of a pinch if you ever find yourself with a Presta valve bike tube, but without a Presta head on a pump to use, we're going to tell you a really quick and simple way to get around that so you can still pump your tire and get back on the road. Step one, here's your wheel. There's your valve with a valve cap on it. Go ahead and take that valve cap off your Presta valve. If you don't have one, ask somebody with you or nearby if you could have one of theirs. Step two, take your valve cap, take a pair of scissors or a knife and cut the top off right about there. Most valve caps have a little rim and you can cut just in front of that and you'll be okay. The end product should look like this. Step three, take the top of your valve cap and throw it away or put it in a straw and shoot somebody in the back of the head with it. Step four, take your wheel, undo the valve stem so it's all the way extended, take your modified valve cap and turn it upside down, put it onto the valve stem and screw it down just enough so that several threads have gotten their way onto the actual valve stem of your Presta valve. Step five, the pump we're using in this demonstration has a head that's got either Presta or Schrader valves in it. However, because we're telling you how to use a Presta valve as though it were a Schrader valve, we're going to be using the Schrader valve end, which is the top side here. Take your pump head and put the end onto your now modified Presta valve head. Lock it and pump as normal. Step six, remove the modified Presta valve cap, throw it away, and you're good to go. When removing the pump head from the modified Presta valve, if your modified Presta valve cap comes off in the pump, as you can see here, simply take a skewer off your bike, insert it into the upside down modified valve head, tighten it down, and pull it out. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Gear Bag. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below, right down there. Also, please click on over to gearist.com, take a look around the website and let us know what you think. If there's something that you'd like to see on Gear Bag, give us a shout, info at gearist.com and let us know and we'd be happy to get that on for you. Once again guys, thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you next time. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Gearist TV. If you've got any questions or comments, as we just said a couple times, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, please do us a wonderful, wonderful New Year's favor and click that beautiful blue subscribe button right there. Thanks so much, guys, and we'll talk to you next time.